No. Okay. Get some spot on your paper. We're going to use a multiplication chart to turn your fraction into decimals. All right? So here's the fraction I want you to do. I want you to work on uh, five six. Okay, that's our fraction. So what's the first thing we do, Preston? You said it before. Make a division sign for dividing. What number goes on the inside and what number goes on the outside? Question. Right, the bigger number goes on the outside. Five on the inside because this really means five six really means five divided by six. So you write it as five divided by six. So if you have five donuts, can you give them equally to six friends without breaking them up? You can't give them whole donuts. So what do we do next, Amanda? Decimal point and and one on the top too. And a zero, because it looked like 50. Now we have enough donuts, 50, to divide up into six people. What's the next thing we do? Dylan, what's the next thing we do? You have 50 divided by six. Which column do we go to? Good. So we go on our multiplication chart, because it's dividing by six. And we go down the column till we get close to what number? Close to 50. Is 1824 is close to 50. Is there something else close to 50? 48, 54. 48, but you can't go over 50, right? So what is the closest? 48. Right, so 6 times what is 48? 8. Thank you, Dylan. Put an 8 at the top. 8 times 6 was 48. Let me write it down. And subtract it. Zero, take away eight. Can we do it? No. No. Nope. Cross out the five, make it a four. This zero becomes a ten. Ten minus eight. Can we do it? What do we get? No. Two. Thank you, Preston. Four minus four is zero. Still got two to go over. So we add another zero up here. And we bring it down. Now it's twenty. Twenty divided by six. Well, let's go to the six column again and drop down to what number? What's close to 20 without going over? 24. That's over. 18. 18 it is. And so 6 times what is 18? 3. 3. three. So we write a 3 at the top. Mm -hmm. 3 times 6 was 18. And do our subtraction. Ten, 0 minus 8, can't do it? Uh, we, uh, this we one 10 minus 8 is 2. Ooh, there goes a 2 again. 2 Donuts divided among six people. We can't do that and have everybody get a whole one. So we add another zero and we bring it down. We get 20 again. It's going to repeat. What's the sign at the top that shows repeating for decimals? A line over the three because it's going to repeat again and again and again. Excellent. If you had 8.83, how much money would you have? 83 what? Cents. Cents. Thank you very much. It's not even a whole dollar. Good job. How else can we write 83? 83 what? 80. 83 hundredths. And another way as a fraction, how do we do it, Preston? 83 over what? Oh, that's a pencil. My pencil point is kind of very dull. 83 over what? Ten or a hundred? Eighty-three hundredths. Eighty-three out of a hundred. That's how you do it. Good. Now let's see if you guys uh, 